I don't think going great rise in beautiful beings, great rise in natural beings. Okay. Hmm. So let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. I literally cracked my phone today and I must have needed to. I was uh I bought groceries. Went to my little boo thing house. He completely ignored me. But he didn't leave me on read, though. He didn't leave me on read. You know, your cell phone lets you know when somebody reading your text messages. But by him being older, I guess he don't know that. So I called. I knocked on the door. I knocked on the door for 20 minutes. Call the phone. Nothing. Started texting. Text, text, text. Not cussing, not fussing. Just like, dang, what's wrong with you, old man? You're not feeling good? You you sick? What, what, what's going on? So, I got groceries, a bottle of champagne. I'm ready to hang out. He reads text messages. And then the, the damn text message said he typing. But he wasn't typing. He probably was typing. He probably erased it. But I'm calling him. Phone ringing. He read the text message. I said, you know what? Never again. I've been single my whole life. Don't get along with no man. I do not get along with a man because it's like as soon as you happy and you start to blossom. They freak the fuck out. They freak the fuck out. Buddy. They cannot have your heart chakra open. They have to fuck your heart chakra up. Now, he told me, he said I was dangerous. And I didn't feel that way. But, salute, salute. I didn't feel dangerous. But I get what he mean now. I get exactly what he mean. He's the type to like to master manipulate people. He pull you to him, push you back, pull him to you, push back. First of all, I messed up. He's a co-worker. And as friends, I introduced him to my co-workers from Houston. And I thought everything was fine. But lately I've been drinking a lot, okay? Not like drinking and driving or, or whatever. I've just been partying. And I guess my promiscuous side is so amazing when I'm drinking that I guess he feel if I go drink around somebody else, they're going to get the same thing. They're going to get the same attention. But a lot of Scorpios don't do that. I think Scorpio men are more whores than Scorpio women. Scorpio women obsess over one person. They ain't got time to share their sexual energy with multiple people, period. Okay. Okay, and so that was rude of me. So they ain't got time to share their uh, 
Scorpio women ain't got time to share their uh, their energy with multiple people. Unless you on business. If you on business, that's a whole nother story. But if you handling your own and you don't lack, you fuck. You on to the next. That's the pyramid. Food, shelter, health, sex, marriage. When you don't lack in those areas, you're on to the next thing. Okay? We are drinking El Jamato. And the fragrance of this is so beautiful. Tequila. But it's just something about it. Fragrance is beautiful. So I got the groceries, the champagne. I'm knocking on the door. Free kids. Well, anyway, I'm over it. Because I've seen... I seen the devil flash before my eyes. He told me I was the devil. Worcestershire sauce. If your Worcestershire sauce ain't got tamarind in it, don't buy it. I had a Worcestershire sauce. That was all the Worcestershire sauce they had. They didn't have the $5 name brand Worcestershire sauce. They had this knockoff brand Worcestershire sauce. I bought it, smelled it. It smells so good. Got out there, didn't taste nothing like Wishar sauce. Didn't taste like Wishar. It smelled like it. Didn't taste it. Mm. Uh oh. Huh. Uh mm. So. Pluto, somebody left in the messages. Pluto. I'm a Scorpio. Scorpio's planet is Pluto. I'm ruled by Scorpio's ruled by Pluto. Let me see. Which star sign is ruled by Pluto? In modern astrology, uh, oh, ast- oh, Lord, astrology, Pluto rules the zodiac sign of Scorpio. See what I'm talking about? Another thing, my good little friend said that Trump caused him to owe the IRS money. So if he and the, they're watching the news and the news is saying Trump just got shot, he in there celebrating. He in the house celebrating. And reading my text message. Won't block me. Won't pick up the phone. Nothing. But I do know one thing. Now that I'm making this video, we can't associate no more. Because the way I feel and the way I, my response and reaction is to it and the bloodshed and the bullshit that came over my psyche where well, I didn't give no fucks. If you love a person... You'll wait on them to get through their miserable ass fucking trauma. So, if I could see me doing this or that to you, I must not love you. And I must not respect you if I could see me kicking your motherfucking ass. So, I just ate that fat. No, that was too much fat. Well, anyway. 
Everybody know the Trump situation is just bogus. They are about to manipulate the masses. And they about to do something else. But all these old folks are going to believe that it's real. I got my potatoes over there. But I'm drinking my champagne, so I don't want to fill up all my potatoes. I'll use the potatoes to absorb the alcohol. I know so I had the grocery. Had my champagne and bottle. Dude sat in the house and ignored me. Oh, that's what I wanted to say, though. Never again will I allow a person in my space. Never. Here on out, if I change my mind, I'll admit to it. But I've been single this long my whole life. I've been single my whole fucking life. Because... It's easily to be disrespected. It's easily for motherfuckers to try to manipulate your heartstrings to get you to like them. And then once they manipulate your heartstrings and get you to start liking them, loving them, showing affection, they start tripping. What? How is that possible? And you know, I'm under the isolation agenda. They don't want a person like me having a child. I'll bring an entity in this world that will wreak havoc on the agendas, their schemes, and that bullshit. So they're going to let weak men approach me. Weak men. Men that can be manipulated through frequency that can be manipulated through mass media that can be manipulated from everything around them. But let me read why I can never talk to this person again. This is the last thing I said. First of all, you got me looking like a fool knocking on your doors and windows, texting and calling you, and you're sitting there just listening. So, okay, you win. You got me looking like a fool. I really care. And there, there was a part of me that cared, okay? But now I don't give a fuck. Bitch, I beat your ass. Um, Like, I, you, you only can embarrass... You can only allow me to embarrass myself once. After that... You in my space, you deserve anything you fucking get. Okay. My last message. My best bet is to stay far away from you before death be bestowed upon you. Say it again. My best bet is to stay far away from you. Before death be bestowed upon you. And I'm going to say it one last time. My best bet is to stay far away from you. Before death be bestowed upon you. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Now, if that motherfucker ever decide to try to entertain me for any reason. He gonna deserve everything he motherfucking get. So, for the record, I'm not gonna allow that person in my space. No more manipulating the heartstrings. Nope. No more manipulating. Heart strings. 
because I have to keep my heart open and pure as much as possible. 36 years has done a lot to my heart. No mass manipulation, no bullshit, okay? No mass manipulation, no bullshit. And I'm not saving it for nobody else. You see, if you see a man around me, I hired him to do some work. If you see a man around me, I hired him to do some uh, some work. He is. I'm not dating him. I'm not fucking him. I'm not flirting with him. Another thing. Now I see why the Bible say, I put enmity between thy seed and her seed. You got to go to damn near war to be with somebody. And then the, the, the sperm and the egg and all the body and everything is going to war. And I feel like when a man see he can't conquer you, it's not Esau. I forget what Zaps be saying. It's a crazy girl named Zaps. She was saying, yeah, the, the male species is so-and-so genetic coding, so-and-so genetic. They, they're against women. And when you can't be conquered, when you can't be conquered, they have to find somebody else. And see, I'm glad. You know, men watch my videos. A lot of men watch my videos. But I'm glad I haven't been cursed with a baby. Yeah, I feel like my existence, being born... Probably was a curse. Nobody, I ain't gonna say nobody, but nobody ain't around here raising their children like we at war. And the few that are raising their children like we at war, for some reason, the sleep people ain't catching on. Okay? For some reason, For some reason, the sleep people ain't catching on. And yeah, I, I, I could not be conquered. I probably sabotaged my vessel so that I couldn't even dibble and dab. Like, who would give birth to a child in this system? Do you see what type of system we're in? We're working five days a week. We got our children in a system where we can't even read, write, and do the multiplication to teach them to go out here and be in the world. We got to get certificates. We got to get certificates. Yeah, I, I'm just glad I wasn't cursed with a baby. I, I am. I'm not saying, you know, y'all may say, well, Sky, you saying we all curse. You got whatever. I'm glad I wasn't cursed with a baby. As much as I thought I wanted one, no, I don't. Because ain't nobody raising the child to find out who pulling the strings. You're supposed to raise that child. 
to try to figure out what you can't figure out. Who's pulling the strings? Who's the shadow people? Who the aliens is? Who the parasites is? Another thing I wanted to say. Excuse me. Another thing I wanted to say was... I was giving a person a ride. I was doing ride share. And the person was like, I don't speak English, but I'm late. Now, my nail had split, and I didn't want to mess with it because it would have tore off. They're looking good, ain't they, y'all? This hand don't look like nothing. See, I got that one going. But they keep breaking, okay? But this hand is beautiful. The nails are beautiful. Now... I was going to tell him, hey, if you got an emery board or a fingernail file at the house, bring it out. But I did. I said I thought I'd pick him up and drop him off. I'll, uh, I'll go to CVS and get an emery board or a fingernail file. He don't speak English. He gets in the car. He's Portuguese. Not Portuguese. He's Brazilian. I'm riding down the road. I hear something going. I turn around. He got an emery board in his hand. Hive mind. Par parasite. Parasite neuro monitor. This this how this how vulnerable we are and this how powerful they are. He had the the light, the green eyes, the hazel clear green looking eyes. You know, they're not hazel light. They're light green, little brown in them, but light. You can see that glass look. Like you got blue people with blue eyes, and you got people with that glass gray blue eye. You know, he got that glass gray green eye, okay? I didn't say shit because he don't speak English. I reached to the back. I know this is weird. <laughs> He's text. He been texting me on the trip while he's in the back because he know the Uber thing translate. So I grab. I, I'm on camera. I got a camera in my car. I grab the emery board and point to my nail, and I foul it. And I say, "Tu." He speaks Spanish though, even though he Portuguese. He speaks Spanish. I say, "Tu loco, tu loco." I was telling him he crazy. Because I knew that was that hive mind parasitic shit. And they was letting me know how powerful they were. And that right now I probably can't escape their neuromonitoring. Okay? How is it that I, he's late for work. He's I got to drive six miles to pick him up. And something said, since he waiting on me, ask him if he got a fingernail foul, and I never did. And he in the back with an emery board fouling his fingernails. Man, y'all think this shit, this shit is real. Neural monitoring is real. So I filed my nail, and I hand him back the emery board. And I say, tu loco, tu loco, Gracias, mucho gracias. And he was like, de nada. Like, he speaks Spanish because he was like, poquito Spanish. Because I know your ass don't speak no Portuguese, pretty much. Mm. Something was like, papa say, or something, but I, I can't even hear what what they were trying to say just then in, in, in uh, Portuguese. But that shit shocked the hell out of me, right? See how I'm eating these lines? Electricity. Okay. What I'm getting at is, I said, I know 
that entity. I said, but that ain't no lizard. I said, I know that entity, but that ain't no lizard. And Spirit said, they amphibians. So when you see people posting the videos and the motherfucking neck, those are not lizards. You know, the first thing you think, a lizard got that big red thing that come out. But what amphibian got a throat that come out whether you male or female? A frog. A frog. And why my spirit just said the motherfucking puppet master. A motherfucking frog. My spirit said, that is not a lizard. That is not a snake. We the motherfucking Nagas. <laughs> we the motherfucking reptilians. These motherfuckers is amphibians. I'm not shitting you. Last night, I was talking to my homeboy in Orlando, and we was talking about frequency wars. And he said, you know, people with the Alexis in their house getting zapped. I said, oh, you just showed me something. He said, what you mean? I said, the dude that I've been hanging out with has Alexa in his house. I done been in plenty of people's houses. Ain't nobody saying, hey, Alexa. Most people I know saying, hey, Google. Okay? We the Google committee. But this is the only motherfucker who's saying, hey, Alexa. And then when I talk, he clicks the mic. Let me show you something real quick. He, he go to Google. I don't like people that go to Google. I like to go to Chrome. Okay, so I'm going to go to Chrome. I'm going to click the mic. She saying, speak now. He click the mic and say, okay, Google. I said, okay, Google is a command prompt. If you're going to say, okay, Google, hey, Google. See what I'm saying? That's a command prompt. Cancel. Roger that. See what I'm saying? Hey, Google. Okay, Google. That's a command prompt. So I'm telling this fool. Here's what I found. I'm telling this fool. You don't click the mic, then say, okay, Google. If you're going to click the mic, just say, what does butterbean mean? What does blue mean? Don't click the mic and say, okay, Google, you confusing her. She's ready to, she's ready to, uh, okay, I'm going to do it again. It's just blank. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. It's a command prompt. According to Wikipedia. He get mad at me because he clicking the mic and then saying, okay, Google, tell me what renaissance means. No, you're confusing Google. You click the mic, that's a command prompt. You say, okay, Google, that's a command prompt. Just say, just click the mic and say what you want. Don't click the mic and say, okay, Google. Like, she got to she gotta delete that shit and then read what you just wrote. Told her to say. Anyway, Gemini. If you notice a lot of songs saying, okay, twin, not just that famous one that we know. There's a lot of songs out there saying, okay, twin. Listen, research Gemini. Research Gemini, y'all.
Research Gemini. There's a reason why they sent OK Twin. We dealing with bipolarism right now. We're dealing with people that are vulnerable to frequency wars with bipolarism. So tell me why my homeboy said, everybody that got that Alexa in their house getting zapped, tell me why as soon as this man bought some generic Cialis from his doctor, the, the pills say, uh, the pills say, Sudden movement may cause dizziness. If you're supposed to be fucking, how the hell you gonna take a pill that say sudden movement may cause dizziness? He ran that time my hit vertigo to kick. <laughs> he can't stand up. Look, I'm over it, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm over it. Any man come around me in my motherfucking space. Nigga, you ain't trying to holler. I ain't trying to motherfucking fuck. Y'all crazy, miserable motherfuckers can get the fuck on. Okay? I ain't got time for it. Because when you let yourself be vulnerable and you accept, and you like, okay, let's do this. They they to destroy you. Everything, you everything but the motherfucking child of the Lord. Put it like that. They're there to destroy you. So imagine a co-worker that's been sizing me up for three years, trying to sniff my air, and then finally when they get a hold of me, they just figure out like, oh, she thinks she fancy dancy. Let's uh, destroy her psychologically. And then when I introduce you to my former co-worker, let me see what former mean. My, my past co-worker. You get jealous. Having previously filed a particular role. Okay, yeah. My former co-worker. When I introduce you to my former co-worker that I've been around for over 13 years, you get jealous when I go visit them. I ain't no one. So, yeah, don't let the rage of Trump and this frequency war do things to you. Don't be manipulated. Scorpios, Pluto is sending out a signal. So, when you see people trying to trigger you, just stay back, okay? We're not dangerous people. Scorpios are like fucking pit bulls. We're not dangerous. 